outside of the Robert Clive Memorial statue right now. It is the morning here in London. This statue was memorialized for Robert Clive. He was a British commanding officer of the British East India Company. So he had a big pivotal role in the British conquering of India and also a lot of Asia back in the day. The memorial was um, what's chartered, I guess, because there was no grave or monument or statue or anything commemorating Robert Clive in either Britain or India, and which was a really big deal. This statue was built by John Tweed in 1912, although he submitted his first sketch in 1910, so it took about a little over two years to create. This would fall in the post-impressionism era, although it looks a little modern as well. And this statue is really made to represent his efforts into the British military. He was very pivotal in India, like I said, although he was not the best man of moral character, he was important to their history. And John Tweed um, made the statue out of bronze. It's pretty good. It's very like, I don't, how do I know? It's, it looks like, he looks like an authoritarian man when he's on top of this statue which was his personality, so it matches very well. I don't personally think it's a very attractive statue, but it's all about location, 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 and it is by the beautiful St. James Park and beautiful buildings everywhere, so then it makes the building look more attractive by being next to them. And the statue is made out of bronze, like I said. There's also a smaller version of the statue, also made out of bronze, that's at the Tate in London. And like I said, is 1912 post-impressionism. I chose it because the statue really represents his personality very well. He was an authoritarian man, he was a part of the military, and the statue really reflects that because that's what it looks like. Um, historically, I think that today, he doesn't really represent England's principles of today. So I think that probably it's similar to, you know, the like the Robert E. Lee statues in America today. Like they were very important to the military and to our history, but not always representing the values that we have.